Okay, Friday morning in the kingdom, we have to thank Johnny for bringing the beer. It tasted good last night after a hard day of cutting firewood. Yes, and Mr. Irving Blades lasted. Yeah, it's a good thing Sir Rodney sends them up by the box, because we buy them by the box. I think there's 25 in the box, so we just keep cutting and cutting and cutting. But this morning it was chilly. All right. Okay, this morning at 7 o'clock it was minus 1 Celsius, but feels like minus 1. See, we're not in Alaska. They don't get this cold temperatures once spring has come. I don't know. I haven't been to Alaska. Okay, and feels like 30 on the M scale. And it is 30. Oh, I'm all confused. I, I don't know. I wasn't awake when I wrote this. Also, too, there's no sugar. Yeah. The staff went, we kind of screwed up because we're drinking iced tea with lots of sugar in it because we can't afford that soda pop at like 15 bucks or 12 bucks a 12 pack or whatever with all the taxes and everything included. So we're drinking iced tea, Tedley tea mixed in with water, sugar, and a little bit of lemon juice to get rid of that uh, zingy tea taste or whatever. So I'm English, so we're drinking tea. No, not Red Rose. We can't afford that either. Okay, oh, the breeze is coming up. Okay, I'll turn this way. So we ran out of sugar because usually we shop just on Saturdays only. So the staff went to the store yesterday and no sugar. Yeah, so I don't know what everybody did with the sugar. Is everybody making the shine or the wine or something like that? We don't know. So that's pretty sad. But hopefully Johnny's bringing the sugar today in the grocery order. So we beer on Wednesday. Food on Tuesdays and Fridays here. So hopefully Johnny brings us the sugar so we can have sugar in our iced tea. Ooh, that's a loon. Kind of squawking away there. But as you can see, I'm on location. I'm standing on top of the welding sleigh. All right. We put the welding sleigh close to the tanks here. All right. Because we got to weld on them, eh? Got to fit those sleighs. And then we'll get this other tanks over here up and over to be on the flat area right there. So that helmet cam worked out pretty good. Yes, the TD6 known as Communist Cat runs pretty good. He was seized a couple of times, went swimming in the lake a couple of times, but he just keeps on chugging away. But my movements in my head like this, I thought I was going slow, but when you watch the GoPro, it moved, looked like I was ricocheting my head everywhere. Oh well, I'll let the staff wear the helmet cam. All right. So we're getting the yard tidied up. So these tanks here, that was the one up by the house. And the other one over here somewhere. There it is. Is it there? Okay, there. Okay, those got to get put on sleighs. Oh, frick, that sun is bright. And it's high in the sky, too. And there's no clouds. There's nothing. And we're not getting the smoke from Alberta. Okay. Because that's they're south of us where those fires are. So they're west and south. So when the wind blows it, it goes to the United States of America, which is over there. Yeah. Okay. So we got the yard tidied and looking good. All right. So this is all right. So to got another day of firewood. Hopefully we get some rain because this is getting boring. We need to work in the house. We need to clean the freaking house. Because by the time you're done at night, come in and make the videos burn supper and then feed the dogs and do the dishes and all that it's like it's 10 11 o'clock at night by the time i'm passing out i mean going to sleep yeah okay i better walk over here i could fall off the roof you see how high i'm in the sky look at that we have talent and i got my bush walking boots on because i'm gonna walk the dogs through the bush today to see if we have more debris to clean up and stuff all right and no dick today so far, so far this today. <laughs> no dick so far this morning, but he was flying lots yesterday. But oh well, he's such a dick. Oh well, I better get going. The boss is coming. Okay, the sun is finally, or the snow on the north side of the shop, which is over here, has now melted. So now we can clean the dog pens because the poop is now, or the ground's thawed out, or the ice is thawed. Or whatever. In other words, we can go in and rake out the dog pens because the snow is melted. Yes, we have to wait this long because anything on the north side of a building is still frozen. Okay, we used one of the tubs from the mine. Yes, these were tilting tubs used in the mine site here. So we've recycled them for around the kingdom. So we throw a shovel the dog poop over the fence and into the tub and then we can dump it. Okay, the only problem is 
about a month ago when we were moving tank sheds around and destroying buildings, or I mean recycling buildings, we filled it, filled it full of sleigh parts. So now I have to empty the sleigh parts out so we can use the tub. Oh well, I create my own problems like when I said I do. Yes, the daily ritual or anytime we want to use the green toy because of the new style batteries are crap, we have to give it a boost. But the V8 and the 45 Chevy truck sounds good. Well worth a boost. Oh well. Well it is Friday. I tried to level the tank on the sleigh here, but it kind of rolled off. And that's all because it's epoxy lined on the inside and super slippery. So once it started to roll over, it's like water in a tank. It just flowed and everything slid to the one side. There's nothing I could do. Hopefully it's recorded on the video cameras or the yard cameras. Oh well, time to go drink some vodka and have some lunch because we need some beverage to make this day get better. Actually this worked out pretty good because I didn't want the pallets inside the tank here because the pallets go across on the curve to make a flat floor. So then everything would be up about 16 inches. You can see where the line is here at the bottom of the door, that's the rule of thumb, okay? So I got in there, and this tank is epoxy lined or whatever, so it's super slippery, and it's used in aviation. That's the only time they really epoxy painted the inside. So super slippery. So this worked out good, because when it rolled over, the pallets were now on top. So I just flipped them out, because this is firewood. Just look at these. Oh, I can feel the heat coming off them now. Well, it's lunchtime. There we go. Okay, we'll put the video in here, the tank rolling off. Okay, here we are. I'm replaying camera four, and this is me moving back and forth to center that brown tank. My problem I had was the uh, six by six timbers kept turning at an angle to the slope of the tank. We don't want that because the wood will rot out quicker. We want it to lay flat. I should have cut the six by six at a slight angle, whatever, but I create my own problems like when I said I do. Okay, we'll just keep this film rolling here. You can see it down here. I'm replaying it. I don't know what time it flipped off. I just did a quick estimate. We'll just talk away here, entertain you people, put you guys to sleep. Okay, today was not planned, but it actually worked out pretty good. Rolling that tank off was probably the best thing that happened to me because the pallets came to the top. Yes, the pallets came to the top and it was a hell of a lot easier to just roll them out the door. Okay, now if I left the pallets in and then I'd have to move everything around and then empty them off and then drag them out and everything. That'd be a lot of work, okay? So everything happens for a reason, okay? It's just like my lady friends when they show up here if they're wearing matching undies. It's not my lucky day. They planned it, okay? So we know that. So I should be just about done with the brown tank here. My thoughts were to get the brown tank squared up and then I could take the tub there and throw everything inside. Then I got thinking it's close to lunch. Let's just square up this uh, silver tank right here. Oh, I've got to have a drink here. I did come in the house and open one. Okay. But I should. Okay, here I am farting around, putting the shims under. And let's see what I'm doing here. I lifted it up. Yes, I'm trying to block the thing because those wooden skis are a little rotten. So we have the safety aspect of blocks underneath. Okay. So I'm on the other side. No, I come back to this side. We lifted it up. We're leveling it off. Okay, good. this is a good thing for my memory to remember what I did today, and it's only at lunch. Okay, so I think I take the steel posts out, which is a safety thing. Okay, yes, roll the tank, take the steel posts out, there they are on the ground. Alright, now I'm just going to try and roll it over, and then put some wood under. Okay, look at that, yep, seeing if it's happening. Okay, I think I went inside there and I was tossing stuff around to try and get the weight offset, just like in a sailboat, you know, to keep it ballast or ballast tanks. Okay, there I'm done. Move some blocks. All right. Now we just have, oh, look at that. Okay, now that worked out good. You don't see me getting mad or anything. I just went and got the camera because it actually worked out pretty good. All right, things happen for a reason. Then I get inside. There I am dragging the pallets out. That worked out good. Okay, I'm getting thirsty holding the camera. Let's go make a video.
Okay, having the right tools for the job, we got the tank back on, and it's like a sailboat with the ballast in the bottom. Once we had the ballast centered, which is this stuff here, these are the slay ski saddles, okay? They're good, we can't throw them out, but you can see they're kind of offset, so we'll, we'll have to move them around or whatever, so we'll get it evened out. But this tank sure is slippery on the inside, and now we can figure out the rest of the bunk system. Okay, because over here, we were able to use some of the material we tore down from the new shop because we needed a 16 foot 6x6 six six to fit in there to create the wedge. When the old timers moved these tanks around and stuff like that, they used wood. They didn't use special bracketry. Oops, I got the burps. I just had a Pepsi. Oops, I'm so sinful. Okay, but they didn't make steel brackets like today's market or what we do today. They used wood and what they had on in hand. And if there was problems on the trail, they corrected it with trees and more wood. Okay, it only took three pieces of equipment, the mini hoe, the loader, and of course the green toy to center these tanks and get them all organized. So now we can put two more into the lineup. All because we need this tote or this tub over here, right there, so we can empty it into the brown tank shed there. And then we can shovel some dog poop into the tub. Oh well, the things we do. Okay, 20 years later, I wish drunk me had leveled the tank before I cut the door in. But no, I had the tank sitting on the ground. It was on not level, crooked or whatever. And then I decided just going to cut the door in because I needed a shed and I needed a shed now. So 20 years later, sober me, well at the present time, is cursing drunk me 20 years ago. Oh well. opening close after 80 years.
Okay, the intro for going to get the firewood didn't turn out, but as you know, we got the 41 Chevy out, we put some load on it, and then over here, we have the quad with the trailer loaded with wood. Okay, so now we have to finish off these telephone pole or hydro pole tubs, totes, or whatever you want to call it, because round things in a square tub uh, create spaces. So we got to fill in the spaces, so when it comes up to the shop, it's a full heat package as we want to call it. We want it to burn with lots of heat, not just burn quickly and then we have to go find more wood the next day. So each tote comes up to the shop or goes to the staff house. It has to supply heat for, you know, three, four days. All right, we better get back to work. The boss is coming. Great fun, like stuffing a turkey. Okay, we had to grab a little bit off the top of the 41 Chevy right here. And we finished off these four totes here. So they're ready to go for this winter. So that worked out good, grabbing all the small little itsy bitsies and putting them in the quad trailer right there and topping it off. So we have to. And this may look funny picking up scraps of wood, but we got to clean up this mess. As core boxes are junk and they're left behind, so let's clean it up and burn it. Okay. It's about quitting time for beer. It's Friday. Okay, the staff went home and I decided I'm gonna do something and get this tank that was beside the house up over here beside the other tank. It made it look like I did something today. But also, too, how do I hook up the chain in those slots, okay? I don't know if you can see it, but there's a tarp strap in the chain. So what I did was I used the tarp strap to keep the chain tight until I'd lifted it up to give it tension. Now we'll just center it in here, and then we can start building a sleigh for it. Yes, when it rains or snows. Okay, so we got everything moved around. The tank was here. Now I got the 45 Chevy parked there. Man, that's sweet sounding V8 in it. I think it's got a cam in it. I don't know much about that motor. It came in a vehicle right off on the Kennesale Road. So tomorrow we have to officially empty that tub over there into the brown tank over here. That's what we set out to do today, but all we did was roll the tank off. We moved another one over here, but it's all coming together as part of the plan as the A-team would say. Okay, the sun's a little bright. I don't know if you guys can see. I can't see nothing. I got a glare. Oh well, you guys can figure it out. If not, have a drink. So we're getting the yard organized. Okay, there we go, there we go. All right, back over here. We got more firewood here. We got a fair amount of pallets that came out of that tank that went for a roll. Okay, so that'll be firewood. We got some more totes brought up here. So we're ready to go. There's four in a row here. These are joys of two forks or four forks. We can carry two at a time. So there's a set of four. So we'll be filling it because the 41 Chevy is still full. We got the water trader hooked up to the book burb. So we can get a load of water so we can have a bath because it's Saturday night tomorrow, right? Okay, look at the flag exercise. He's all happy. Hopefully the staff gets sugar tomorrow. And that's a Guess Who song. The Canadian rock band from the 70s, which was popular and lived in Winnipeg, Manitoba. No sugar tonight in my coffee. Okay, 
And if you watch a YouTube video with Randy Bachman, he explains where he got the name and the title and the lyrics for that song because you seen it down in California. All right, I better go walk the dogs, drink some beer, and make a video. Talk to you later.